So, this is going to be a very different video from usual. You see, this computer right behind me, this amazing, wonderful, fantastic MacBook Pro, is going through some tough times. For the past two weeks, it has been continuously heating up, maxing out its fan speeds, and draining its full battery after one hour. All while, I just use Google Chrome. I mean, I don't know if you can hear it, but its fans are going crazy right now. This is something I've never dealt with before, but admittedly, I have put this laptop through a lot in the four years that I've used it. So let's talk about what's going on. Well, to start off, some history. This is my baby. A 13-inch 2019 MacBook Pro I got when I started college. It's now turning four this year, and it's been pretty kind to me throughout our entire time together. Now, I do believe that it is a bit of a lemon in a few ways, admittedly. For instance, when I originally purchased this laptop, its screen would flicker and glitch about every 10 minutes for just a couple of seconds, which was just so strange. But it wasn't anything concerning though, so I felt fine with my laptop and continued on. However, there have been other issues that I've shared with this computer. Specifically, the touch bar crashes quite often, causing me to need to restart it using the terminal. Which is very concerning for an exam, because with the program that we use for school, I have zero access to my terminal, meaning I'm often straight out of luck. So yeah, that's not great when the screen is dark in an exam room, or I need sound. And also, one other issue that I have with this laptop is, of course, this is kind of my fault for choosing the more economical version, but it's the storage of this device. I got the 128 gigabyte storage option option for this MacBook to save some money. And I know it can be a bit hard on laptops when they have low storage options, but coming from experience, it can be unbearable sometimes. I use an external SSD for editing, which thank goodness, because those files can be so large. But even for typical school files and MacBook updates, I barely have enough storage to keep things running. I have to constantly waste time deleting things or making sure that I don't download anything besides the Microsoft Suite or my exam files. Which honestly is fine for me, because this is a work laptop after all, and it should be cleaned every so often. But when you have to delete things like every day, that's when it can be a little frustrating. And it can be so limiting when I have to constantly stop my work to clean up my storage. We'll probably talk about this more in my four year review of this laptop, but it's still something that really bothers me. But going back to the main topic of this video, the new problem I have with this machine. The computer has just recently started struggling with this MDS stores program that is taking up sometimes over 100% of the CPU, which I don't understand how that's possible. <laughs> but it's used for Spotlight, as clearly indicated as the only thing draining my laptop's battery during my classes. Now, Spotlight is a program that MacBooks use for their search bar. It's something that many people regard super highly because it's pretty accurate and very quick to get what you're looking for. In which case, I completely agree. Very rarely have I had issues with the search bar. So much so that I've never even thought that it needed to be maintained. But yes, that's what's going on here. The MDS Stores program is what Spotlight uses to index your files for your computer. Essentially, from my understanding, it's sorting out your files to make your searches appear way faster and more efficient, which the indexing process should only take a few hours to a day. But in my case, as of recording this video, it has been going on for 75 hours. And last week, I let it go for nearly 100 hours. Because many suggestions from Reddit and the Apple forums said to let your computer do its thing and to not shut it down. But unfortunately though, because of my exams, I had to force quit the program and shut the PC down eventually. And that kind of settled Spotlight down. But now, that doesn't even stop the MDS stores from going crazy. Every time now that I reboot the laptop, Spotlight is quick to restart the whole mess. So clearly we have an issue that's getting a bit worse. So if you're experiencing this too, here's my three-step plan to save the Mac. Given that I'm currently at my university and will not be able to come home for at least another two weeks to have my laptop serviced, and I have another three exams in which I need this PC, the first plan is to continue indexing. For most people, this again shouldn't be too much of an issue. But for me, I believe I just sort of pushed the PC to its limits with the amount of editing I've done, and it just sort of freaked out and it needs some time to process everything. But if that doesn't work, here's what I got to modify the indexing. I've tried this already, but consider restarting the indexing process. Perhaps the PC is just stuck on something, and there are many files that it just needs a second chance at working at. And you can use one of these commands 
plugins to help you restart it. Some of them might be outdated for your operating system and others may not. So do a little bit of research before typing those into your terminal. And if that doesn't work, you could prevent it from indexing specific folders or even your entire SSD on your Mac. Again, this didn't work for me, but for most people, this should surely stop it. All you need to do is go into your system preferences, spotlight, and then add your files into the privacy section. And that should stop it. But if that doesn't work, lastly for this section, we could stop the indexing altogether. This should surely fix your problem if it comes up, at least temporarily. Typing in these commands right here, again, some of which will work and others are a little bit outdated depending on your operating system, your indexing should stop. However, it could also completely shut off your search bar or make make it less accurate, so that's not great. And sadly, again, don't want to make this video seem hopeless, but that didn't work for me. I have no idea why the indexing won't stop. But my third and final step is when I get home, is to get this poor thing serviced. Yes, my poor baby already needs to be serviced for its battery, so I think this is the perfect sign to get it treated for this as well. The only objective that I have is to make sure that I can still edit and upload videos for all of you lovely folks as well. And of course, to have this PC survive my exams. But no worries, we're gonna work at this until I fix it, and we'll be all Gucci in no time. And with that, I'll be sure to bring some better content as well. So if you have any suggestions for things I should try to remedy the situation, please Please send them my way. But besides that, I appreciate you as always. I'll be back at it again. My name is Cyrus. It's spelled like Cyrus, but not like Cyrus. Just take out the tur. Thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day. Peace.